Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 video. I know I'm a little late on the information, but today I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of information about the mini biome called the graveyard. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that NPCs sell, things that you can craft, and monsters and mobs that spawn when you place a bunch of tombstones. So to create a graveyard, you're gonna need five to six tombstones, and they can be any tombstone, you know, whatever you drop when you die, pick it up, save it for later, but watch out for the ghosts that spawn when you do break your tombstone. And and I say five to six because when you have five, certain enemies can spawn in. And when you have six, Ecto Mist and more monsters spawn in. So I would recommend doing six. Like I said here, any tombstone can be used. We're going to go ahead and use the gold ones because, you know, I'm fancy like that. Died with a lot of gold in my pockets. Might as well put it to use. But as you notice, as we place more and more tombstones, the background starts to become more and more gray. So we're at five right now. Having five, this allows enemies that usually spawn in at night to go ahead and spawn in like zombies and demon eyes. Also, ghosts can spawn from this too but once we place down six you know that's when things are going to get serious we see the ecto mist come in we hear the music changing and once you start placing more you know it's going to get a lot darker there may be random lightning strikes look at that we got a demon eye spawning midday but let's go ahead let's place a bunch here let's place a bunch we want the full effect but as you can see right here critters start spawning some more special creatures for example maggots rats can also spawn and there's a certain new type of zombie that can spawn called maggot zombies if my pirates stop murdering everything we may be able to see one this is also a way to get ravens to spawn naturally not being halloween there is also chances for the rare zombie variants to spawn in for example the bride the groom but yeah another thing you'll notice in the graveyard is that there's this mist everywhere and the mist is called ecto mist and with this mist you are allowed to craft certain items but yeah let's go over some things you can craft and some npcs that sell some unique items in the graveyard mini buy now starting with stuff we can craft for the anvil here we got the coffin minecart which is just an equipable minecart hey it's my boy maga zombie what do you drop when you die let's figure it out right here so when he dies he drops up to three maggots i believe mm, delicious how good are maggots for fishing they're actually not too bad 22 percent yeah there's the coffin minecart and then there's the grave digger shovel now this thing is a very unique tool digs in a bigger area than a pickaxe only digs up soft tiles so let's go ahead and craft it here and let's put it to use so only soft tiles meaning tiles that are soft you know dirt sand mud stuff like that and it digs in a big area oh look we got a little rat right there but yeah, let's go ahead let's use it real quick so I, it's ooh, got some lightning it's either a three by three or a four by four. oh it's a three by three okay but look at that so this thing can actually be useful like you can probably use this to clear out some areas in hell with the ash and a bunch of other you know, building things you need to get done so there's a lot of things you can craft with a bunch of different workbenches and crafting stations but let's go over just a couple more here using the heavy workbench we can actually create rolling cactus which who does not love rolling cactus let's go ahead and place this here there's no enemy to walk into it okay i'll just activate it myself look at it go wow and we can craft a new type of fence wrought iron fence which this has a nice graveyard feel to it and it's perfect for doing graveyard builds i already know that chaos blue jay all of them are using this already for their builds the next crafting station i want to show here is just the good old workbench now there is a lot of new decoration blocks and walls all kinds of stuff that you can craft in the graveyard and it's actually really cool so you can get straight up creative i believe a lot of these are background walls too what is this guy doing here get out of here but one of the main things I do want to show off is that if you have cobweb in your inventory, you can craft spider walls. If you got wood in your inventory, you can make things like this tattered wooden sign. Very, very cool looking. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff you can craft. But now let's hop into items that NPCs sell, including one of the items that are on my hotbar that I get asked all the time when I'm streaming. What is that weapon? It is the quad barrel shotgun. So here I am at the arms dealer and we look at his inventory. He's not selling a quad barrel shotgun. Of course not, because there's no graveyard yet. Let's go ahead and let's assemble one just in his household I hope you don't mind but there you go and now we take a look the quad barrel is there and obviously i got a good discount because i got him in his favorite biome next to his lady right here the nurse the quad barrel is a great pre-hard mode gun carried me through master mode the early half and it's very useful on certain bosses like the brain the eye the wall of flesh you know bosses that a giant spread would be useful on so the next npc we're checking out here is the clothier he sells a bunch of goodies and he actually sells a weapon can you believe 
believe that the, the vanity dude selling a weapon don't get your hopes up though it's not that crazy of a weapon it's still very unique but it's nothing crazy it's not like the quad barrel you're gonna be using it to carry you but you know i gotta give some respect to the tragic umbrella it's pretty much another umbrella variation here of course they added the ability to be able to attack with umbrellas which is always cool and it works just like an umbrella you fall slowly but yeah he also sells funeral clothes very nice he sells victorian goth clothes and he sells grave digger stuff which is my personal favorite oh look who it is the bride hello how are you doing get the hell out of my house there's a couple more npcs that also sell items like the painter he sells a bunch of decorations of course and the cyborg actually sells some new stuff so the party girl she sells release doves released during certain ceremonies let's see it in action this is a certain ceremony you know we're recording a video it's always celebratory actually i don't think they release these to celebrate but let's do it anyways wow that was totally worth my money the die trader also sells a new type of die here fog bound die let's go ahead and put that on just gives us a little fog effect around our mask very subtle now one of the more unique npcs to sell something that i consider very important especially if you want to fill out your bestiary the dryad here she actually sells the opposite corruption seeds so if you have a crimson she sells corruption seeds if you have a corruption she sells crimson seeds example here i have a corruption in this world she's selling crimson seeds very very useful definitely if you want to 100 percent your bestiary and get your hands on the pylon where you're able to teleport anywhere it's very very useful to have this information so you can do that so yeah that's really all the information there is about a graveyard i do got a couple more tips and notes here straight from the wiki for example nighttime enemies do spawn during this but you still cannot fight nighttime bosses during this which is kind of upsetting i kind of wish they allowed you to do it as an alternative way to fight bosses during the day but at least they allow you to sleep now and if you're wondering if you're playing hardcore and you're like well how am i gonna even attempt to achieve a graveyard if i can't die in hardcore well npcs and worlds that you're playing hardcore on when they die they drop tombstones so there you go that's your way of getting them if you're a person that plays hardcore another tip is that npcs will complain when in a graveyard but it does not actually affect their happiness more than any other neutral biome would but yeah that's really all the big information about the graveyard is good information to have especially if you want a couple unique items or if you want to fill up your beast sherry some more with maggots and rats and maggot zombies also gives you another way to hunt down raincoat zombies the groom the bride because those can be hard be sherry finds too but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said i know i might be a little late here but i wasn't one for just jumping in and creating as many videos like oh new feature new feature but you will see a little bit more of them trickle out slowly here over the next you know couple weeks but hey if you guys want to support the channel especially during these rough times consider becoming a member you don't have to you do gain special benefits if you are a member though like you can chat with me in person and Thank you to anyone who's considering it. But yeah, I love you guys. Keep playing Terraria 1.4. Bye-bye.